So I wrote for that NCSU Family of the Year essay so I could read my essay at the football game, but uh, I guess I didn't win. But I figured I'd read it to you because you might enjoy it. So here we go. We don't really have a family. It's more of a collection of angry people that live in the same place. We're from a small town that quite unfortunately is not dry. The ABC store is in walking distance from my house. That's not an accident. My father drinks uncontrollably. I used to hear stories the other children told of how cool it was to drink. How their older friends would get drunk and have crazy fun. When father drinks, he doesn't get fun or cool. He just gets more angry. I really doubt I've ever seen him sober. The times I did see him, I'd smell him first. I'd find him slumped over the oven in the kitchen with a beer can strewn about his feet. But this isn't just about Dad. This is about my best family. My mother would be that tattered stitching in old patches that holds the family together. I'm not quite sure how old she is, but she learned to cook while she was in prison. The food, that's what brings my family together. To the table. At least that's where dinner would start, as Dad rarely made it through the whole meal. We'd always eat together. Me, Mom, Dad, his 40 ounce, my brother, Paul, John, the house guest that lives in the attic, and Vance. He's the tenant that lives in his Jeep in the garage. Well, it was one night at dinner where I realized I had the best family in the world. I was eating my mashed potatoes and trying not to look at the people around the table when Dad put down his beer. I can still hear his slurred voice. I know you're banging my wife, boy. Vance, he just rolled his eyes and Mom told Dad to be civil during dinner. Dad's retort was to spit on Vance who slung a fist into that drunken hump. A few breaths later, Dad slumped onto the floor in a pile. And while dinner, it moved to the living room. I guess it was John on the way to the bathroom, for he doesn't have one in the attic. Found them both. Dad, he still lay cold and blue on the matching kitchen floor. There was an engine running in the garage. Apparently, in his rage, Vance had killed Dad, and in the morning decided to take his own life in the garage, with a hose running from the exhaust into his window of his Jeep. Later that morning, I was woken by the sound of sirens. In a fire truck, it was the first to arrive. It was driven by Mr. Pugh. He saved Vance's life. I later learned the cause of Dad's death was not the blow to the head, but alcohol poisoning. I suspect that's better for everyone, because Vance, he no longer lives in the garage, but he sleeps with Mom in the house, in the bed. It must have been that week when Paul ran away. I remember the last thing he said to me. He says, You're the only person in this best family that I care about. I hope you go to college and get the hell out of this house. Last time I saw him, though, it was on one of those flyers in the mail that had said, Have you seen this lost child? The message was from social services. I used the coupons on the back to get some ice cream. I still wonder how John's doing up in the attic. I'm not allowed to look at what he's doing or inquire why he purchases so many nails and copper piping. But I assume he is a craftsman. One day he is going to be famous. I kind of just got that feeling. And what about me? Wolfpack pride all the way. I took my brother's advice and left the house, but I'm still a loving member of the best family ever. I write to mom once a week and she responds. Her stationery changed to that of South Dakota Federal Correction Center, so I assume she has a new job. Vance, he came by the other day to have dinner at Fountain. He says he's never eaten so well. <laughs> I remind him of mom's mystery meat. We just laughed. So what is the best family? Is it a ranting father and house guest that become more than just house guests, but loving and creepy seducers? No, no. I'd say it's much more than that. It's the bonds that keep that money in the backyard buried, and that keep me searching for where the hell did Paul go? And the love I feel for my new family, the Wolfpack family. Go Pack.